Last year, we got an amazing snow update, and this year, we might get the same. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment below what your favorite feature of the, of the Christmas update was last year. As you can see here, there's a timed challenge that can only be active for a certain amount of time, and it'll transport you to a secret world where you can fight a mini battle against a boss. Now, this challenge is timed because it's only for the month of December, and not even the full month, which is kind of crazy. But, but trust me, this event was really fun. There's also a Christmas-themed chest, which you can get for a few gold, and a few other things that are more or less Christmas-themed. And so I love you guys so much, I spent a few hundred Robux to get 400 Christmas crates. And these are all the drops that I've gotten for it, you can look in the middle of the screen. I'll zoom in for you just so you can see it. There's nothing really that crazy, but it is nice boost to everything that you have. Um, and it kind of just re-enunciates what you had before. You get a lot of gifts, because that is the custom prize that year. And a lot of other just, you know, helpful things. Like stars, harpoons, and a few neon blocks, uh, to name a few. Uh, but overall, there's quite a few that you can get, um, along with the Christmas harpoon in the menu mainly. So, let's move on to the actual event. Once you initiate the event, it'll teleport you to a winter wonderland. And before that, it'll give you a cooldown around 30 seconds so that your teammates can join too. Um, so, this event was really fun, and it involved a lot of nutcrackers and a lot of firing of guns. So, uh, not something you see every day, but hey, I had a lot of fun and the decor was amazing. Uh, now this wasn't the same event for every year, I think it, there was a challenge where you had to go down a lake for the entire time uh, two years ago, but this is just what last year's was, and it was really beautifully designed. Um, but overall, it was a really fun event. I'll give you a nice time lapse of all the waves, some of it hold the gingerbread man while some hold the, uh, the nutcrackers. Uh, but the entire event was a lot of activity, you only have three hearts, and you can see I already lost one. but. Um, even the final boss is kind of cool. This wasn't a really hard event because they have to have people who aren't as old um, do this, but um, it was still made really well, and the final boss is kind of just throw uh, snowballs at it and avoid its attacks um, because it does summon some, which is kind of hard. But that's pretty much it for this event. Thank you for staying to the end. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite feature of the last year's event. And here's the stage from last year that was really fun. It just had a lot of presents. It wasn't really that difficult. So if you like this video, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.